it's just... If there's, any, if there's ever been a scrapper here on the roster, it's Wii Fit. Three, two, yeah. One, All right. Go. Coming in on uh, Woodman stage for game one here in Losers Finals. Carflow versus John Numbers. Hey, any Mega Man music is good music. True. Unless it's X7. Get that out of here. X7 had some good ones. You could say, like, Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. The Game Boy had some bangers. It did, but Mega Man 2's music was literally not programmed correctly. It really wasn't. Uh-oh. All right, even game right now. Dead even percentages. Carflow finds the Jair. See if he's able to complete this ledge trapping sequence, but John fighting his way through with the header. All right, John. No oh, really tech. tech chase. I can see exactly why they want a crom now. Those good conversions from ledge, exactly where John loves the camp. It's going to be Absolutely. very crucial this matchup. The conversions are just going to be that much more consistent. Being said, though, got to be careful going out against John numbers, and I think that may also be part of. Um, Part of why Carflow choosing Krom, because like you're already going to have a terrible time off stage against John. So who cares if you have a worse recovery? Exactly. Like once you're off stage, it's gonna be Ooh. over anyway. That being said though, using it as a reversal, getting John off of the ledge. Carflow now with a commanding lead, holding on to this first stock. Alright, but John answering back, a forward tilt. Ooh, not quite killing just yet. Another chair. Oh my gosh. Don't let this be a three stock. Not here. Not on stream. But Carflow wants it so bad. He's gonna style for the camera. <laughs> Looking for a spike, but and instead John nope. finding one of his own. That was a really good header from John there. All right, looking for some potential cheese right there with the Soaring Slash, but finding himself cheesed by being out of a jump off stage against John Numbers. And this is the duality of Krom. Amazing stage presence until you're off it, and John is like, ah, yes, how can I spike yep. you? How, how can I kill you at 30 today, sir? How would you like to be served today, sir? Uh-oh. All right, so despite such a commanding lead from Carflow. I'm sorry, where, where is it? What lead? I, I don't know. It's it's gone now as John has brought us back to pretty much dead even. All right, John still having their jump. Ooh. Oh! I love the idea from John to go for the, like, the, the far out recovery. Definitely trying to bait out Carflow's counter, but Carflow not biting. Exactly. I mean, that beautiful just, like, Back air from ledge, excellent. And really, John just losing those uh, stocks very, very comfortably here. It was the same thing every time, a jab into the back air. Yep. An un uncharacteristic missed text from numbers. Not something you see very often. No no we, opportunity to tech there, though. That was just crom. We were seeing a lot of that last night, actually, at Waypoint, and we were calling that out. And it felt like a mix-up from John. Because a lot of people always expect John to, you know, oh, or at least like any other player to like roll, get up immediately, like whether it's out or in. And so kind of like a missed tech to just kind of like land and kind of delay the get up. Oh, absolutely. That's, yeah, that's yeah. not something most players do because most players will get punished by lower level players. But at top level, you start, you gotta start mixing those up. Yeah, you get those timing mix ups in. That's absolutely gonna be a factor, but Carflow is able to convert it into stock, so yeah, gotta no. be very careful. Carflow has those reactions. Carflow, I think, definitely just sees this game in like slow motion, you know? At least today, look at this. Really having John Number here. He's, he's got the, the adrenaline on lock right now. He's, he, sees, he sees a new hut. What a tech! Whoa! Okay, all right, I see you. That's what I'm saying when I mean he he sees the game in slow motion. He got spiked. He got spiked by the back hit of uh, of forward air, and he saw like the longest quick time event in the world. Like, yeah, I got a million years to react to this. <laughs> oh god, it's the quick time event from oh. Sonic Unleashed. Hello. All right, jab forward air, not gonna be taking the stock just yet. Carflow with a ton of rage, and John just getting a little bit too comfortable on the ledge. All right, this adaptation from John needs to come now. 
All right, checking Carflow's aggression with the dashbacks. But what Carflo... other Krom lives until 156 <clears throat> offstage? Definitely not something you see very often, but John making sure that the lead does not get too out of control, especially with this deep breathing online. Even with the deep breathing, that's not going to start oh car flow. She's so fast. She's the cardio bunny. She's a no way. survival horror game. <laughs> 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 she, she's Michael Myers. I could definitely see Weepa Trainer as a playing the lead character you know in Halloween. It's really funny. Uh, for Halloween last year, yeah. um, Protom made an edit of putting Michael Myers' face over We Fits. Oh my gosh. And I put that yes. in the top eight image. And John went, please don't do that. Yeah. I don't. And I was just, that was so funny. Does John not like horror movies? I, I, I can I, see that. I don't know, but it was just like, please don't. And it was please. just so sincere and so <laughs> so dejected. How could you it was say so no? funny. You know, there will be a lot of people who say they don't like horror films, and what they mean is they don't like slasher films. <gasps> oh, that's that's not a 599 counter. No, nope. that's a BDLC do next time. Dollar store ass counter. That counter got no love in production. Absolutely not. Oh, all right, some clean empty movement from Carflow trying to psych John out, but the F tilt not quite taking it just yet. John managing to make it back. Oh, what a trade! Carflow goes flying. One. Oh, Even. John! John has, still has a full stock. Carflow gonna oh, get yeah, bombed here. As cro no? What? Oh, he makes it back into center stage. This is no. very scary for John. Oh. No, that could have been the counter there, actually. But a re-grab for Carflow means John's finding the spike and finding game two. I honestly thought John had lost his jump. I was like, no way. Carflow looks unfazed. Absolutely. He's just, just, just another day. Another day fighting John. I think this, what it is. I feel should have been a counter. Like we've John was definitely not high enough to actually grab the ledge after it. It's because the first counter didn't work. And so Carflow was like, I'm not gonna try that again and possibly get reversed here. Yeah, I mean, may I don't know, because the first time it didn't work because We Fit grabbed One, ledge. Go. But there was no way she was grabbing ledge that time. Remember, it's a free ninety-nine counter. Right. Anyway, moving back into game three, coming right back in to Battlefield as Carflow's counter pick, which is where we saw Carflow take game one pretty handily, at least for the first part of it. John sitting at 70%. Carflow still very, very comfortable below 50. Ooh, but does get caught by the back air. Has to use the jump to make it back into back to the ledge. I think John is starting Ooh. to not really care about percentages that much and really is just focusing on boxing Carflow off the stage, little by little. I'm a little bit surprised that Carflow didn't capitalize on that air dodge, that early, very early air dodge from numbers, because it looked like he was scoping it out. Oh, and still not able to find it. The deep breathing air drift is so good. Both of them just dancing around each other. John with the dash attack finally getting Carflow off ledge. Weefit does deep breathing and she becomes one with the wind. She simply cannot be caught. All right, look at Carflow now looking for a ledge trap. Doesn't want to get caught with any weird wow. edge guarding. But what a setup with the back throw. Didn't even think that was possible. Yeah, and no. Yet here we are. That's that's definitely like a matchup check. Like, do you know to tech here on top platform? Do you know the matchup? I don't know the matchup. <laughs> All right, Carflow now with a stock lead gets to play with uh, getting some potential extra credit on the board. Ooh, what an air dodge. Ooh, coming up swinging gives Carflow to get off of this ledge. This is my territory. All right, Johnson with their jump, though. Manages to get back. No, but a good neutral air. Stuffing out that jump. Ooh, deep breathing down tilt. Burning right through Carflow's hitbox. John looks unfazed while Carflow, while seemingly stoic, that, you know, between sets, Ooh. has locked in themselves. Absolutely. The jaws have tightened. He's, he's their got eyes the game are narrowed. Lean. 
That's right, the gamer lean too. You can always see that. They're just kind of going in slowly. And it's paying off. John oh! is on their last stop. John I'm not happy about it. Absolutely not. John has been frustrated at the performance tonight. And that's, that speaks to John's character of wanting to be a perfectionist in all aspects. If they're not playing perfectly, they're upset at themselves, not the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, John is definitely a very, very like, self-improvement sort of mentality. Exactly. Like, oh, I could have done better. Which is something that I think we, we should all aspire to. Of course. For as many complaints as one can have about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch, you know. You're always your most ultimate when you're improving. So true. Being said, though, Carflow is the one with the improvements right now over game two as he is looking to lap John in percentage. All right, John. Terrified of making one mistake here getting back. Ooh. No read. That's no jump. I'm a little terrified this may be an explosive pop-off if Carflow finds this last stock. When has Carflow ever popped off? I meant from John's side. Oh. It's a pop down. It's a pop down. <laughs> We're going to see the controller flung into the monitor. Please, Please no. <laughs> controller spins hitherto unseen. All right. All right. John at 90% right now, while Carflow still having a full stock to play around with, forcing that early air dodge, but Numbers still able to make the low recovery. If John gets this next stock, next stock off of uh, Carflow, oh. they're definitely going to be looking for that early kill. No way. Okay. No! Oh, the back air. Ooh, just, just a little bit of a, uh, a controller, controller throw. No, no spins this time. That was a very decisive controller throw. Yeah, well, the spin was like, you know, we're moving on to the next set. Yeah. The throw was definitely, it's over. The spin is a much more passive toss. Yeah. Whereas the, the little spike, it's just like, I'm done. We're getting out of here. Right. Definitely, I would say maybe a mistake here in this matchup was, obviously, John, obviously, Carflow played amazingly. Read all the things, was, playing, was countering John's approaches very well. Maybe a mistake to go to Battlefield, though or allowing Carflow to go back to Battlefield. Yeah, I am curious what the bans were on John's side. Nope, no bans. Honestly, like once it comes to like this sort of level, John doesn't normally ban. He'll just allow to be like, hey, you know, small Battlefield, most people mm. do. I mean, in game in a game three scenario, 